Remember to subscribe to our channel, and click bell icon if you like our videos. Hi, welcome back. Today we are going to be fine-tuning one of the Transformers models on Hacking Face. Google T5 NLP pre-trained model. In fact, we are doing transfer learning on the large version of T5 model, which has 24 layers and 770 million parameters for paraphrasing applications. Okay. First of all, let's install the necessary libraries. PyTorch. and transformers. So we have already connected to a GPU. Let's check out the GPU that we are using for today's fine tuning tasks. As we can see here, um, this is a NVIDIA Tesla V100, which is nice. Let's import packages and set a seed for the fine tuning. All right, so the following section is T5 fine tuner, including several defined functions. Let's run that. All right, so the next step is to load the dataset called Pulse that created by Google. This is a nice dataset for fine-tuning the specific applications of paraphrasing, which is our main task for today, right? So once you download it, um, as you can see here, the dataset includes three parts. One is for training. The second one is for validation. And the last one is for a test, all right? And we use pandas to read the files, and then we can see there are four columns here, and uh, I think over 49,000 of records in the training dataset. So this is a clean and uh, complete data set without any null values or missing values, which means we don't need to um, do the data pre-processing on this data set, which is nice as well. Alright, the following section is about setting the arguments for the fine-tuning. For example, uh, which model you want to use, how many batch sizes, and how many epochs, etc. Okay. Alright, so this is another class for paraphrase data set, as you can see here. So I will take um, sentence one as the input or source and take sentence two as the output or target in the fine tuning process. Okay, so let's run it. And let's start training our model. Okay, so as you can see here, I will save the trained model into a folder called a T5 paraphrase and uh, copy all I need to my Google Drive and save them. As you can see here at the end of the this cell. Oh yeah, so I think it's uh, 
start training the model. And training this model um, will take about 20 hours. So I'm going to skip the 20 hours of the training process and uh, see you uh, 20 hours later. OK. All right, so it's time to test out our fine-tuned model to see the performance of the model on pair-facing tasks. OK. So let's run it, and it will take a few seconds. So as usual, I prepare the five sentences here, and let's test them one by one. All right, so let's start with the sentence one. As we can see here, um, the original sentence is washing your hands properly will keep you away from COVID-19. And the paraphrased sentences are if you clean your hands properly, you will stay away from COVID-19. And uh, properly washing your hands will keep you away from COVID-19. Yeah, I think um, this fine-tuned model did a great job. And we can see the first two paraphrased sentences are good examples uh, in this case. All right, so let's see the next example. OK, the second sentence is here. Uh, the original sentence is, Wikipedia was launched on January 15, 2001, and was created by Jimmy Wells and Larry Sanger. So the um, paraphrased sentences we can see here, um, Jimmy Wells and Larry Stanger founded Wikipedia on 15 January 2001. And uh, the sentence here we can see on 15 January uh, 2001, Wikipedia was created and launched by Jimmy Wells and Larry Sanger. Yeah, I think those two are great output uh, in this case, right? So let's see the next one. OK, the third example here is NLP is one of the interesting fields for data scientists to focus on. And we can see the target sentence uh, here one of the interesting fields for a data scientist to focus on is NLP. Yeah, this is also a nice one for this example. Uh, the model rephrased uh, the structure and uh, the order of the words. OK, right. So let's move on to the next one. OK, this example here is do I really need to take a flu shot if I am healthy with few or no underlying conditions? So, and we can see the output sentence. Need a flu shot instead of need to take a flu shot. Okay, and uh, is it really necessary to uh, have a flu shot? if I am healthy with few or no underlying conditions. Yeah, I think this one is a great uh, rephrased sentence in next example. All right, so let's move on. OK, the last example for today is which course should I take to get started in data science? As we can see the rephrased sentence, it's there a course I should take to get started in data science. This is also a nice one for this example. 
All right, I think the result of the fine-tuned model is uh, much, much better than the previous one that we test in another video. Um, you can compare the result with the same sentences in this video to the previous video. And I will put the link of the previous video in the description down below. All right, I hope you enjoy today's video. Don't forget your like and subscribe to the channel. See you later. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and click bell icon for latest updates.